So now that we've been given a glimpse into our new world, starting with Upheaval Dome and its mysterious origins, let us continue to thoroughly search our new world with curiosity, joy, wonder, and awe at its surrounding areas found in southern Utah. Together, in this New Earth series, we will venture our world's magnificent breathtaking landscapes, where the vast scorching openness meets with the paradise-like valleys. Our first voyage together will be to Canyonlands National Park, where we will be captivated by electrifying canyon walls and structures. Have you ever seen sandstone canyon walls carved like this before? We will take a closer look at the types of stone and layers of strata exposed at Upheaval Dome to shed light on what could have possibly created this astonishing natural structure. This right here is Canyonland's main attraction and you can find this in a place called the Island in the Sky. In our next video, we will be covering the northwestern part of southern Utah, known as the San Rafael Swell. Let's take a closer look as to why they call this a swell. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not an illusion. The ground is swelling. Here, take a look at this. In this video, I will also be showing a cool new feature by Google Earth, and that's Show Elevation Profile. Here, watch. Make a line, right click, Show Elevation Profile, and check this out. Look at that. Boom. In my first video, I had mentioned that Upheaval Dome had projected me into creating this series. Well, this next feature also did the same. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Little Grand Canyon. The green represents the San Rafael River, which helped carve what is in the orange, the north rim of the Little Grand Canyon. Excuse me while I hold from laughing. First, it was Upheaval Dome. Then it was a little Grand Canyon. And this is a true story. I just could not believe all the things I was coming across. And I just looked up and I'm like, creator, one more. Give me one more sign and I'm going to take off with this. And this is what he showed me. The very next photo I clicked on was this. I just couldn't believe my eyes. My eyes actually teared up. But I got the message. And I sally forth. <laughs> Further into the series, we'll be taking a look into a couple of valleys in a mountain range. This one is called Castle Valley. Take a look at this. From deep in the valleys to the peaks of the mountain range, here is La Salle Mountains. We will begin searching this mountain range deep in the valleys. And then we will check out the base of the mountain. And then we will end up at the peak where I want to share something so awesome with you guys right now. Just a small glimpse as to what we'll be looking at. And look at the shadow that's cast from the mountains. It's a pyramid. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Let's fly over La Salle mountain range into what is known today as the Spanish Valley. We'll be going online and looking at videos like this in all the areas that we'll be covering along with images and articles. The next area we will be covering is for all my Christian viewers 
and this is Moab, Utah. This little town has a very deep, rich history, and we're going to be looking into it, and it's very biblical, so stay tuned for that. Up next is Arches National Park. I spent hours searching this area, and I came up with so many arches. In our old world, we only had a handful of arches, but here, there are a dime a dozen, and I cannot wait to share all of them with you. Actually, I don't even... I haven't even explored all of them yet. There are too many, but stay tuned and we will explore more together. How many do you see here? I see four. This last area is vast and in it, it houses some of the most beautiful tower structures in the world known as the Fisher Towers. In the upcoming video, I will be talking about how the Fisher Towers are both Old World and New World. This series is just the beginning. Pardon the pun, but we have been showing surface stuff. And just like in all my videos, we must dig deep. And I will be starting with this. Pictographs and petroglyphs like you've never seen before. Exploring this new earth is going to expose us to what appears to be an ancient, older civilization than it was told to us. And I have a feeling that's going to happen a lot as we keep exploring, not only in our own backyard, but throughout the world. Welcome to your new earth. <laughs> 